Hey guys, Rusty here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get every single Dragon Glyph in World of Warcraft Dragonflight, and while I know add-ons can do this easily for you, you'll see in the video I did use an add-on myself, I know a lot of you guys like to see it in video form, although I do recommend guys, don't use an add-on, don't use the video, play it yourself, actually play a video game, I heard it's actually a lot of fun, that's up to you though. Anyways, I'm going to be showing you how to fully upgrade your dragon riding so you can fully experience probably the best feature Blizzard has put in the game since the Mage Tower. Now, I'm going to leave timestamps down below for specific glyphs, so if you're missing a specific two, three, or four, you can follow the timestamps, otherwise this video will be organized, organized by the zones in the order that you level in, so Waking Shores, Anarum Plains, Azure Span, Valdrasis. So, with that being said, let's get started with the video. So the very first Dragon Glyph is going to be the tutorial one. This one is located at the Sky Top Observatory. This one is very, very easy. Go ahead and grab that. And real quick, I'm going to take this time to warn you guys. There's going to be a lot of references to phallic objects here. I'm like Jonah Hill and Superbad, except instead of drawing them, I just think about stuff that looks like them. Anyways, moving on to the second one at the Sky Top Observatory, same area, basically the same area where you just picked up that one, except this one, I mean, I guess you could say it's technically a little more challenging, although let's be honest, it's super easy. Just fly up to the tower, go ahead and grab that one. By the way, make sure you're upgrading your dragon riding if you're, while you're doing this, it'll make your life a whole lot easier. Next one is located about a little southwest of the Ruby Life Pools, basically right outside the dungeon entrance there. If you just look up above that little, I guess, I don't know what, Arcway, Mountainside, anyways, whatever. Above there is going to be the Flash Frost Enclave Glyph and kind of staying in the same area. It's just slightly more north of the glyph you just got. You can see there, this is the Ruby Life Pools Peak Glyph. You're just going to head over to this small little mountain range there, and at the very top of it, you can see your third dragon glyph there. Another super easy one. Go ahead, pick that one up. Now, the next one is going to be over at the Obsidian Bulwark. This is another super easy one. This is basically the staging ground where before you and Rathian assaulted Neltharis to retake, you know, the seat for the Black Dragon Flight. Amazing quest line, by the way. Your glyph is going to be on that rock cock there. Go ahead, fly up there and pick it up. There's your first one, by the way. Don't worry. Many more uh, references to phallic objects come. I promise you. Anyways, moving on to the next one, you're going to head over to the Obsidian Citadel. This area is sick, dude. Someone got inspired by Lord of the Rings. This thing looks like it's straight out of friggin' Mordor. It's awesome. Anyways, fly all the way to the very top of the Obsidian Citadel, and right behind it, first of all, don't fly into a wall, you know, because like I did, because I suck. Anyways, fly right behind it, and above this gigantic pool of lava, like you're flying above Mount Doom, I'm sorry, I, I can't help myself, is going to be that glyph. Another fairly easy one. Anyways, heading kind of back over to the Obsidian Bulwark, just a little more north of it, this is the Overflowing Springs Glyph. Again, you have a, basically a bunch of these shaft rock looking things, and at the top of this one, although it's a little more of a mountain there, hill, whatever you want to call it, I don't even know what they're called, is the Overflowing Spring Dragon Glyph. Heading all the way to the north of the Waking Shores is going to be the Life Binder Observatory. Now this one, there might be a dragon race there, world quest there, you could use those things to help you out if you want. Anyways, I believe those one things are actually there. Anyways, if you did the Onarian Plains, I could be wrong, I'm not sure. Anyways, fly all the way to the top of this tower here, and that is the Life Binder Observatory Glyph. Heading over to Scale Cracker Keep, again, another area that looks like it was ripped straight out of Mordor, awesome looking area, is going to be your next Dragon Glyph. Now, this one is a little hard to show its location. Basically, it's on the tallest peak of this mountainside here. Fly all the way up to the mountain, and that is going to be your next Dragon Glyph. This is the Scale Cracker Peak Glyph. Again, just fly all the way up to the mountain. Next one is at the Wing Rest Embassy. This is obviously the first location you visit when you actually start leveling in Dragonflight and Waking Shores at least. This is just the starter area and you can see straight ahead right above that little tower there, that destroyed tower is going to be the next Dragon Glyph. You can pick this one up basically as soon as you start the expansion. Now, moving on to the next one, this, I believe, is what? This should be the last one for the Waking Shores. Again, this is a little bit southwest of the Wing Rest Embassy, and you're going to head over to the Dragon Heart Outpost, and this is the Dragon Heart Outpost Glyph. And at the top of this destroyed tower here, or kind of inside it, I guess, a little more, not really the top necessarily, is going to be your last glyph for the Waking Shores. Waking Shores, fairly easy. Let's move on to the Onaran Plains, which is a pretty cool looking zone, by the way. Now, this one I'm showing you from the Waking Shores map, because this, this basically you get this as you're leveling, as you're going into the Onaran Plains. Even though I'm showing you this from the Waking Shores, this glyph does belong to the Onaran Plains, as you can see here for the Ruby Scale Outpost. It should show up in the achievement progress there. 
Now the next one, again, this is basically as soon as you enter the Onaran Plains, right near the Timber Step Outpost, basically to the west of it. Again, this is the path you take as you're first entering the zone. It'll be directly in front of you. Again, most of you probably pick this up while you're leveling. I, I need a counter, by the way, of how many times I've said again. Let me know in the comments down below, because I'm sure there'll be more to come. Anyways, easy glyph. You're going to head over. All right, we got this. You're going to head over to Russ Zathar. Nailed it. Reach. And this is going to be the Russathar Reach Dragon Glyph. There's no way I pronounced that correctly. Anyways, this one is fairly easy as well. Just go there and you're going to look straight up. And there's basically going to be a giant mountain with like, here's another one, with like a little chode tower on it. Like, why is that tower <laughs> so small, man? Anyways, moving on to basically, I consider this like the main building of the Onaran Plains. You're going to want to head over to Mor Marukai. This is the reputation vendor area. And basically, you're gonna have a giant mountain with a giant. I, what are those bird things called? Are they just. I know it's something to do with the zone. Anyways, you have the giant bird statue there. You're gonna fly up there. Go ahead, pick that one up. This is a cool looking area right here, by the way. I could just picture myself hanging out here and just chilling. Anyways, head over to Nakudan Hold. Some, some very challenging names to pronounce, although I think I nailed that one. Anyways, this is the west of the Onaran Plains. You have a little rare there. You have another statue there. And above the statue, as you can see the glyph, you have the peak of the mountain there. That's going to be your Dragon Glyph for this location. Uh, if you're ever going up, by the way, use Skyward Ascent. Don't don't surge forward like I did, like a complete skunod. Anyways, you're going to want to head over to the Shady Sanctuary. This is basically the Green Dragon area if you're questing over here. And right next to Marithra, I'm using this tower basically as my staging point. Right above it, fly on up, go ahead and grab it. By the way, why is Marithra so small? Isn't she, she supposed to be like the now the... Anyways... You're gonna next you're gonna wanna head to the southwest of the zone near Teriyaki. And this is if you this is basically at the third boss of the Nakud offensive. That's what spawns here. There's Zaphil the Defiant as basically as a marker if you want. And again, right near the mountain, not necessarily on it, it's kind of in between them, is going to be the uh I'm not even trying to pronounce that. Basically, I'm calling it the Teriyaki glyph because it's near Teriyaki, and look, we're still by Teriyaki. If you if you haven't noticed, I like Teriyaki. Anyways, this one is also pretty easy to get. Just head over to where I am on the map, and you'll have another one of these destroyed towers. And of course, at the top of it is going to be the Czar Skeleth Dragon Glyph. That one, of course, is another super easy one. Staying with the south of the zone, you're going to want to head over to the Mirror of the Sky. That's the name of this one. Thank God for add-ons, am I right? I mean, they're telling me more than the map sometimes. Anyways, you're going to have this little waterfall area with this bronze... Are those even dragons? I don't even know what those things are called. Draconoids? Whatever. Anyways, the bronze dude flies straight up, and that's going to be the Mirror of the Sky Dragon Glyph. Next, moving on to the... Oh, boy. The Oniri Springs. We're going to say... We're going to assume I pronounced that correctly. Anyways, head over to the exact south of the zone, the Oniri Plains. Basically, head over to the flight location where a flight path is. And if you look straight up, luckily it's not right on the mountain. However, still pretty high up. Just fly straight up and get your Oniri Springs Dragon Glyph. Kind of heading a little bit further north, you're going to want to head over to Wingsong Rise. Just Honestly, this was a pretty random location, it felt like. Anyways, just a location with a bunch of mobs. And if you just look up, that's going to be the Oniri Rise, or sorry, not the Oniri Rise, the Wingsong Rise Dragon Glyph. Another super easy one. Heading over to the southeast of the zone near the Fork River Crossing. This is going to be the, what is it, the Dragon Spring Summit Glyph, I believe it's called. Anyways, just head to where I am and you'll see a little waterfall there. And near those waterfalls, you're going to have, I guess, I don't know, this kind of looks like a, a dam, honestly. Near the bottom of that, that's going to be the final Onaran Plains Dragon Glyph. Next, we will be moving on to the Azure, oh my god, I forgot the name, the Azure Span. So first, you're going to want to head over to the Cobalt Assembly. This is basically the rep grind area where you get that awesome ring pre-season one. And basically at the tallest tower, again, the tallest tower right above it, is going to be the Cobalt Assembly Dragon Glyph. Pretty easy to get. Definitely make sure you're farming out that ring if you're watching this video before season one. Good ring. Anyways, next one, I, again, I am showing you this from the Fork River Crossing from the Onaran Plains. That's just how I recorded it. This one is still an Azure Span glyph, though. You can do this from Azure Span. It's also the actual uh, Fork River Crossing is also in the Azure Span. Or you could go from the Onaran Plains. Doesn't matter. Anyways, this is still an Azure Span Dragon Glyph for the Fork River Crossing. Super easy. Heading west of that, we're going to head over to Creek Tooth Den. I is this the Knoll area? Anyways, this no, this is the area that looks like Grizzly Hills. I love this area. Look at this place. It looks so good. I love the Azure Span. Anyways, above this broken tree here is going to be the Creek Tooth Den Dragon Glyph. Next, you're going to want to head to the outdoor area of Brackenhide Hollow. It's basically the area that's surrounded by a bunch of rare mobs. Uh, cool, um, cool looking area. Terrible area, though. Anyways, 
fly above it and near that giant tree is going to be the basically the bracken hide hollow glyph i think it's actually what it's called yep it's just the bracken hide hollow dragon glyph next you're gonna want to head over to the azure archives this place is actually really cool it really reminds me of Koldara obviously i think it's really cool anyways head all the way to the top of the spire where you did that quest to kill all these worms and basically at the top of the spire is going to be the azure archives dragon glyph love that area heading a little bit uh what is that northwest northeast west got to know my directions heading a little bit north East, you're going to head over to this area here, and you're going to use that down tree as a little bit of a landmarker for you guys if you want. Near that down tree is going to be the Zelthrak Outpost Dragon Glyph. Moving on to the next one, south of Camp Nowhere, where you find your boy, Hemet Nezumori. So glad he's in this expansion. Anyways, south of that, you're going to have this little waterfall here by these, all these primalists here. And right below that waterfall is going to be your next Dragon Glyph. Fly down, grab it, and that's the Imbu Dragon Glyph. Weird name. Anyways, heading a little more east of that, southeast of Camp Nowhere, is going to be your next Dragon Glyph. So head on over there, and you're going to have this little bridge thing here. And by that bridge, once again, you have another destroyed tower. Fly all the way to the top and get your runes of... Ready for this? Karn Karnthar. Nailed it. Get that Dragon Glyph. Heading north, you're going to want to head over to the Lost Ruins. Again, that's northeast, sorry, of Camp Nowhere. Northeast. Anyways, head over there and you're gonna have a few of these towers just fly up and basically at one of the tallest towers inside it is going to be that dragon glyph or the lost ruins. That one can be a little tricky to see from the video, but it's basically just one of the tallest towers, guys. Anyways, heading over to Valkyrus Range. This is the area where uh, during the quest area, the quest zone, when you're questing, where Caligos is fighting Razgeth. Sick quest, by the way. That was really fun and an awesome cutscene. Awesome moment. Leveling is awesome. Anyways, that's going to be the Backthros Range Dragon Glyph. Super easy. Kind of staying in the same area. Heading a little north. You're going to have the Ronin Shield Dragon Glyph. Shockingly enough, near the Ronin Shield Flight Path. I know. Anyways, over here, you're going to have one random tower that's just... It looks like, oh, why is this here? Must be something in it. Yeah, there is. It's a Dragon Glyph. It's right inside the tower. That'll be Ronin Shield. Moving on to what I believe is the final Dragon Glyph for the Azure Span. We'll see if the achievement pops. You're going to want to head over to the Fallen Course, basically a little bit northwest. Yep, northwest of where you just were. You're going to have a destroyed bridge here. If you just turn around, that'll be the Fallen Course and, of course, the final Azure Span Dragon Glyph. We're almost done, boys. Moving on to Thaldras Ass. Now, you're going to want to head over to the very south of the zone, near South Gate Hold, or South Hold Gate. Basically, you, that area you are while you're questing. And once again, at one of these super tall towers here, I don't think it's actually the highest one. No, that one is. Little one below it is going to be your first Thaldras ass dragon glyph. And yeah, go ahead, pick that one up. Anyways, easy peasy, moving on to the next one. Now, this one is going to be your first mountain climbing one in Thaldrasis. This is going to be the first peak. Now, this one, not that bad. So just head over to where I am on the map. I use this tree as a little bit of a marker for you guys to see. Just head over to the highest point of this mountain. And again, on this highest point, just using um, sword, not sword, Skyward Scent to get up there, is going to be the Storm Shroud Peak Dragon Glyph. Now, the next one is going to be a little bit southwest of Tearhold. Cool area, by the way. This is going to be the Gelicther Outpost, I think it's called. Anyways, just head over to where I am on the map. And this one's really easy to see. You probably picked it up while you're leveling. Gelicther Overlook, it's called. Go ahead, easy one, pick that up. Kind of staying in the same area, pretty much the exact same area, let's be honest. This is the Passage of Time, because it's a passage going to the time place. Clever naming. This is going to be the Passage of Time Dragon Glyph, right below that little rock arch there, heading over to the bronze area. That one's pretty easy. Now, after this one, you're going to head over to the... We'll talk about that in a second. Anyways, head over to the Temporal Conflux. This is where that giant hourglass is. Cool looking area, by the way. And to the west of the hourglass thing, you're going to have another one of these towers. This one's pretty easy. Just fly into the tower. Go ahead and pick it up. And here's where it could get a little bit tricky. I hope you're ready to climb Mount Everest in. Wow. As you can see here on the map, this, look, this, this glyph is located on a giant map. This is the mountain. This is the Thaldras Ass Apex. Pretty simple. Fly over to where I am. Basically, here's what I suggest, guys. You're going to have to go... Uh, by the way, you think that's the peak? It's not. It's not. What I recommend doing while you're doing this, simply fly as high as you can, and then just look for a landing area where you can land. There's one right here. I'll show you in a second. Look for an area where you can land, and so you can just chill out, recharge your vigor, 
if you're dragon riding, if you didn't wait till this one to be your last glyph, chances are your dragon riding won't be super great. So you might have to wait a few times before you could actually reach the peak of the mountain, go all the way up to the Thraldrassus apex. And I mean, listen, it's a cool view, too bad, but it's covered in a lot of fog. I guess actually, I just got to increase my view distance. That's all it is. And it is what a sick view. This is, that was my favorite part of it. Anyways, Next one, we're heading over to the Vault of the Incarnate, which, by the way, guys, I don't, I've never gotten excited about a raid entrance before. Look at this raid entrance. It looks awesome. This looks sick. Anyways, literally to the left of the raid entrance, you're going to have another Dragon Glyph loading above lava. Pick that up and maybe just take in the sight of the raid entrance for a bit. Next one, we're going to actually head over to Tearhold. This was the place in the Dragonflight launch cinematic or the announcement cinematic where that rock boy was who wanted to put the things together. Anyways, head over to the top here and you're going to have in the grand style floating rock. And on there, go ahead and pick the, up the Tearhold Dragon Glyph. Moving north to the Algathar Academy. This is the outdoor area of the Algathar Academy dungeon, shockingly enough, I know. Anyways, at the tallest tower, another one of these reused towers, at the tallest tower, it's a little bit hidden, it's actually at the very top of it, kind of. And just go ahead, pick it up, and that's the Algathar Academy Dragon Glyph. Heading over to the very north of the zone, you have this random island. Uh, I don't know why that island is there, I'm assuming it'll be used in a campaign quest at some point. Anyways, it's a pretty, uh, pretty stormy place. Anyways, at the top the tallest tower once again you're gonna have another dragon glyph at one of these towers go ahead pick that one up and we're almost done boys we're almost done heading over to the uh, algathera i think that's how you said it yeah that makes sense the algathera flight path or the algathera area this is going to be your second to last one on this bridge here you're gonna have another one of these super tall towers i know a lot of towers here shockingly enough there's giant tall towers in the dragon isles wow anyways go ahead pick up that dragon glyph and finally guys we're moving on to the final glyph Head over to the city of Valdraken in Thaldrassus, and at the very top of the Sea of the Aspects, there are your dragons, and of course, Mommy Alexstrasza is going to be your final dragon glyph. Pick that up, fully upgrade your dragon riding, and experience one of the best systems Blizzard has ever put in this game. Like, pure 100% praise for Blizzard for making dragon riding, and of course, honestly, the dragon glyph system. This was a lot of fun to do. So yeah, guys, I hope you're enjoying Dragonflight. I sure as hell am. I think this is the best leveling experience we have gotten since Warlords of Draenor. I think it actually beats WAD leveling, which I consider, like, I hold in high regard. WAD leveling was awesome. Dragonflight has been great so far, guys. I hope you're enjoying Dragon Riding. I sure as hell am. The Dragon Glyphs, in my opinion, even with an add-on, guys, I'll be honest, I still find them really fun to get. But from what I've heard, I mean, if you reached the end of this video, obviously, you already collected them all. But from what I've heard, uh, the experience without using an add-on collecting the glyphs is pretty fun. Too bad I'll never know. Anyways, guys, I do hope this video helped you. I hope, again, you're enjoying the expansion. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. As always, I do my absolute best to answer every single one. Don't always get to all of them, but I, I try. And of course, before I go, Halo 3 is the best Halo. In fact, it's so good, instead of having this boring wall behind me, there's going to be some Halo art up soon. Anyways, guys, until next time. Later.